where smart contracts work best is um, well-defined financial contracts. So smart contracts can greatly improve the cross-border plumbing and the financial relationships that the insurance companies have with other financial companies and with other people in the world. And in fact, to the extent they're dependent on companies, prime brokers and big banks like JP Morgan and Chase and Goldman Sachs and so forth, they can reduce that dependency by talking more directly to their counterparties through smart contracts rather than through a prime broker. So for data protection, um, blockchain is a very powerful tool for um, proving that something is not, it's like freezing something in amber. You can prove it hasn't been forged or altered um, after you put it on the blockchain. Um, data confidentiality is much harder. Um, there's a, a technology we might call zero knowledge computations that will allow for very small computations um, that are very important for the confidentiality, a very limited amount of confidential um, data processing. But unfortunately, it doesn't scale, and so for big data, it's basically impossible to, to associate that with the blockchain and keep it confidential. Bitcoin works the same everywhere in, in Ethereum. They work the same everywhere in Albania, Zimbabwe, um, Argentina, the United States, China, all over the world, they work the same way with the same set of rules. And so we're going to see this being done more widely in the financial community that instead of nationally siloed financial systems that are dependent on law enforcement, we're going to see more global um, vending machine-like um, financial transactions.